Hey, Shalom, 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 Akims. Uh, first and foremost, giving all praises into Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Bukakwadash, Kar Halayim La, Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Hakwadash, all praise be to the Heavenly Father and His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, our masters. Um, Shalom, salutation to all you sincere Akims who cause the four winds, pushing this truth with sincerity of heart. I'm your fellow servant, Kasama Gan from the DC camp, coming at you through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim El Shah, Bashim Hakudash. And um, in this quick lesson, um, I wanted to go to, um, you know, ex you know, just the acceptable things, you know, in the sight of the Lord, you know, because there's many things that are acceptable to the sight of the Lord, um, you know, being a sacrifice, you know, sacrificing your time and so on and so forth, dedication, you know, up in, in D.C., we always talk about the three D's, um, desire, dedication and determination and um and that's what it is. It's about, you know, being acceptable to the Amashak Yahweh Shah, you know, through faith. Now, this is really off, of course, you know, uh, Romans, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. It says, I beseech you, I beseech you, uh, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. Now, holy means special and acceptable unto the Most High, meaning whatever you bring forth has to be acceptable. But, of course, we have to know the details of things that are um, acceptable. You know, we can't just uh, wing it, right? We can't just hope that, hey, maybe this could be or this could, is this acceptable to the Lord? No, you need to know what's acceptable to the Lord so you can make the proper sacrifice. Now, that leads me to 2 Corinthians chapter 8. And, um, and I'm going to read verse um, 12, okay? <clears throat> well, as a matter of fact, I'm going to start at 11. You know, find out about one thing that's that's acceptable to uh, Yahweh Hashem El Shah. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Now, therefore, perform the doing of it. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, yep, yep. It says, Now, therefore, perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. And that's pretty basically the title of this video is, is what's acceptable to the Lord. One of the things that's acceptable to the Lord, the primary thing really um, is faith. And also the secondary is a ready, ready, readiness of mind. Okay. Meaning you got to be willing. You got to be willing to perform the duties, you know, your reasonable service. Because you got... You know, you got individuals that think that, well, they have to be told and they have to be reminded. Example, when it comes to studying, you know, they got to be reminded while well, you're studying and you're reading your scriptures. Um, they got to be reminded to come out in the highways and the edges. Like all these basic things that are, are reasonable services, they have to be reminded, you know. You know, they got to be reminded to make their videos and stuff. Listen, if you have to be reminded... To do the work of Yahweh Bashim El Shah, that means you're not of a ready mind. Now, although we know in Philippians on um, on the third, the second chapter, and on um, the twelfth verse, you know, it's, and the thirteenth verse, it says that what that is of the will of Yahweh Bashim El Shah that we are able to do what we're doing. But we also have the Heavenly Father on the lower level has also given us will. You know, he said, you know, he's put before us life and death, and he said, choose life. Meaning on a lower level, the Lord has given you, you know, will on a lower level. Now, what do you do with that will? Is your will to serve the Lord, or are you constrained into serving the Lord? Meaning, are you forced to, so you feel like you have to be forced to serve the Lord? So that's not the right sacrifice. That's not acceptable to the Lord. What's acceptable to the Lord is a ready mind. Meaning you don't have to wait for a man to tell you what it is that you need to do to please the Lord or remind you of what it is that you need to do to please the Lord. You should always be gung-ho. You should always be in the forefront trying to be ready, you know, at, 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 the, at, at the moment's notice to what? To do and um, serve the Lord. This is 2 Corinthians 11, uh, 8 and 11. It says, Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to will, See, a, a readiness to will, so there may be a performance also out of that which you have. So if you have faith, <clears throat> you know, you have to perform your faith. How do you perform your faith? It's through your works. 
That means you gotta have a you have you have to have a readiness to will. If you don't have the readiness to will, that means you always gonna sit back and wait for a brother to tell you, wait for the elders and apostles to tell you what to do, you know. And no, what about just you, you know, being ready and always doing it? You know, trusting in the spirit, okay? I believe, therefore have I spoken. Verse 12, it says, For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man has. See that that's a, that's the reasonable service that's acceptable to Yahweh by Shem El Shai. It says, for if there be first, so that's the first thing. When you got that faith, the first thing that the Lord is looking for is the a willing, a willing mind. So it says, uh, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man has, and not according to that he has not. So that's what the that's a, that's what the Lord is looking at. You know, he's looking at, is you really willing to serve me? Or you feel like, are you serving me by constraint? Meaning, you feel like you're being forced. You don't really want to serve the Lord, but you feel like, well, shit, I guess that's what I got to do. That's not that's not a proper sacrifice. That's not something that's acceptable to the Lord. Therefore, he would not uh, uh, um, give you the supply of the Spirit to continue uh, to the end to finish this race. You know, it, so that's why you can't just... Wait for other men to constantly tell you what to do in this truth, man. As far as like to please the Lord. Okay? Verse <clears throat> it says, uh <clears throat> let me see. Uh because I know I had some here's some some good jewels in here as well. Let me go a little bit above. <clears throat> uh second Corinthians chapter eight and uh like I said, there you go, right here. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 2 it says Well actually let me start at 1 It says Going back to verse 1 It says More, more, more of a brethren We do you, We do you to wit of the grace of the Most High Bestowed on the churches of Macedonia How that in a great trial of affliction The abundance of their joy and their deep poverty Abounded unto the riches of their liber, lib, liberality uh, it says, for, for to their power, I bear record. And beyond their power, they were willing of themselves. And see, that's the thing. It's, it's, when you look at the power, it's only through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim and Hashem that we can do what we do. But it's also, it also reflects the will of a man. You know, the will of the man has to be according to what? The will of the Most High. So it's not just the will of the Most High, but you yourself don't want to do it. You know, if you don't want to do the work, you know what I'm saying? Of course, ultimately, it'll be the will of the Heavenly Father to, you know, to put in your spirit to not want to do it. But man, the Lord was given, has given man a will on a lower level. But man's will is supposed to be according to the Most High's will. So you have to have a willingness of mind. Okay, that's what Paul said. For to their power, 2 Corinthians 8 and 3, for to their power, I bear record, yea, and beyond their power, they were willing of themselves. All right, so if you feel like you got a guy in the camp that's always dragging, you always got to remind him to do basic things that an Israelite is supposed to be doing to fight for his own salvation with fear and trembling, then that's a man that's not of a willing mind. And that mindset is not an acceptable sacrifice to Yahweh Bashim al Shah, meaning it's just not going to cut it, okay? Now, when you look up the word will, <clears throat> it says, um, Old English, uh, will, willer, mind, determination. There you go, desire. See that? Going back to the, th um, the three Ds desire, um, dedication, and determination. All right? Mind, determination, purpose, desire, wish, request. I like that. Delight. See, you got to have a delight. I mean, to have a readiness of mind, you must love what you're getting into. I mean, to be honest with y'all brothers, man, if you don't love doing the work and you don't love being in the truth, you're not going to have a readiness of mind. You know what I'm saying? You're always going to wait for somebody to tell you what to do, uh, how to please the Lord and, and all that other stuff. You know what I'm saying? So you don't. that's not the mindset. That's not the proper sacrifice. And you're not going to grow. You're just not going to. Because why? Because your heart is not fully in it. It's in it, but it's not in it all the way. Meaning you're not willing to go above and beyond the call of duty, so to speak. 
And that's basically what it is. You got to be ready to, and willing to go above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, this is uh, Titus, <clears throat> Titus chapter 2, verse 14. It says, well, I'm going to start at 13. It says, looking for that blessed hope. And the glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior, the Amashiach Yahushua. That's why I have this, this image right here. You know what I'm saying? Because the Israelite that you see on his knees, that's us. You know what I'm saying? In captivity. Um, you know, we're really, you know, we're slaves. Although the physical chains have been removed, you know, a lot of our people are still in uh, mental and spiritual chains. And we need to be saved. You know what I'm saying? And even the ones that are free spiritually from the devil... Like the so-called white man and Satan, we free spiritually and mentally from the devil. Physically, we still captive in this land, and we captive on this earth, wherever we are, wherever the nation of Israel is scattered. So-called Negro, Spanish, and Native Americans, and Israelite foreigner, known as the Gentiles in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So we that's why we waiting patiently for that man, that man that you see on the background. You know what I'm saying? That man, Yahweh Shai, the Yamashiach, you know, the Anointed, to come and deliver us. Okay. So that's why everything he asks of, of us to do, we have a ready and willing mind. You know what I'm saying? We don't need another man to remind us what we need to do. Yahweh Shah already told us what he what he expects out of us. So we man, we're gonna go above, you know, above and beyond the call of duty. Okay? So going back to Titus chapter 2 and 13, it says, Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great power and our Savior the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. Who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good work. That peculiar people is talking about the election. The 144,000 <clears throat> and the remaining of the one third. Beginning with the 144,000. You know, zealous of good work. That's their readiness of mind. Which is accepted. Like it said in Corinthians <clears throat> chapter 8 verse 12. That readiness of mind, let's read it again. It says, for if, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man has and not according to that a man has not. So that's accepted first. You know what I'm saying? Well, verse 12, it says, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted. So the willing mind is first. That, that's what's, well, that's the, the acceptable sacrifice to the Lord. First is a willing mind because the Most High, Yah and the Most High Yahweh through His Son Yahweh Shah can work with a man who's who's willing and ready to listen. You know what I'm saying? Willing and ready, willing and ready to do the work and to go. Like I said again, to go above and beyond the call of duty. Okay, this is our First Peter chapter <clears throat> five. Verse 2, it says, Feed the flock of the Most High which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint. There you go with that word, constraint, meaning you're being forced to do this. Now, this shouldn't feel like you're being forced to do this. It says, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind. See that? A ready mind, that's what's accepted to the Lord. That's the acceptable sacrifice you know, that the Lord wants to see in a man. Anything else, you don't have anything else that the Lord feels is substantial, you know, for you to be, to have a shot at salvation. The only thing you have is your faith and your willingness and ready of mind to do whatever it is that he asks of you. Okay? That's the acceptable sacrifice. Uh, this is Titus chapter 3 verse 1. It says, put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers to obey magistrates to be ready to every good work. There you go. So you got to be ready to every good work. So it's a readiness of mind. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't ready and a man always got to remind you, that means you're not, the mind is not where it's supposed to be, man. That means you're probably doing this in constraint. If you're doing this in constraint, that means you don't love what you're doing. If you don't love what you're doing, guess what? You're going to fall out of, you're going to fall out of uh, uh, love with it. Uh, 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 um, you're not going to be in it. You're just to be honest, it's just, uh, just a matter of time. Okay. You must love this truth. You must fall deeply in love with this truth. You know, like people like to say, fallen women like to say, oh, I'm deeply in love. You're not supposed to be deeply in love with your woman. Your woman is supposed to be deeply in love with you, and you're supposed to be deeply in love with this truth, okay? That's the proper way. That's where you properly put there, those emotions. Um, this is, I'm going to finish with this. This is Romans chapter 10, verse 10. It says, for with the heart, which is the mind, man believeth unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. So it starts with the mind and the readiness of mind. So if you have readiness of mind, guess what? 
Romans 12 and 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So what's acceptable to the Most High? Readiness of mind, man. So, and that's the reason why you see brothers out there starting with our elders and apostles of Great Millstone day in and day out, out there in the highways and the edges, putting up videos and nonstop because we all have a readiness of mind. That's all we have. And that's all we have to put on the table with our faith. You know what I'm saying? So, the faith has to be followed by works. And we don't have to be reminded to do the work. Okay? We already know this, that that's what we got to do. Okay? So hopefully Buzz was edified with this lesson, didn't want to have it um, be long, you know, Buzz got the point, got the gist of it, the readiness of mind, the willing mind, you know, don't do it by constraint, the most I give you on the lower level, the will to want to do this, so just do it, do it by all that might, okay, so with that, I'm going to say, Kahalayim Lai, how about Shemel Shah, giving double honors, of course, to our apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, 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 Shalom,